Here are the video solutions for NCFE Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and this is section A which is the non-calculator section and this is from December 2019. So let's make a start. So Denise is going to have to pay back this loan plus 5% interest so we need to work out what is 5% of 2,500. Now working out 5% comes from working out 10%. 10% is an easy amount to work out. 10% um, is 1 tenth, so divide this amount by 10, in other words, chop off a zero, 250 pounds. So if 10% is 250 pounds, then what is 5%? Well, 5% is half of 10%, so we want one half of 250. One, uh, sorry, 250, 250 divided by two is 125. So she needs to pay back uh, the loan plus £125 of interest. So that is five, two, six, two, two £2,625 to repay. B, um, so we using this calculation, so the first thing we need to do is work out 870 times by 1.5. Now, um, what I would probably do is I would make this number 10 times smaller and make this number 10 times bigger. And there we go, that's, that's all we need to do. So uh, we need a column method for this though. 5 7 to 35 carry 3, 8 5 to 40 plus 3 is 43. Put in a 0 because this is the 1 of 10. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 8 is 8. So 5, 10, carry the 1, 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13, so that is 1305. Um, if you didn't really like what I did there, then my recommendation, normally I tell people with decimals, um, ignore the fact that they're decimals and work it out afterwards, so just do 870 times by 15. So to do that, I would have done 87 times by 15 and then put a zero on the end. So 870 times by 15 is 13050. And then we want one decimal place because in the question we've got one decimal place. So I'll put the decimal point there. Um, so it's 1305.0, which is the same as 1305. So a few ways you could have done that calculation. Now we're dividing this number here by 10 squared. Now 10 squared, that means 10 times by 10, which is 100. So our final calculation is 1305 divided by 100. Now, and when you're dividing by 100, you move the decimal point to positions. Now, there is no decimal point, but if there was one, it would be here. In fact, maybe taking that answer there would be quite useful. And now we can just move it two positions to the left, because if we're dividing by 100, we're making it smaller. So that is 13.05 kilos. For part C, we're comparing two deals. So what I would do is work out what it is per kilo. So A is 34.99 for 10 kilos. So for one kilo, it's gonna be 34.99 divided by 10. So move the decimal point one position. So that'll be 3.499, we'll probably call it £3.50. For deal B, it's 75p for 200 grams. Now one kilo, that is 1,000 grams. So how many times bigger is 1,000 than 200? Well, that is five times bigger. Um, so it's going to be 75p times by 5. And what is 75 times by 5? 5 fives are 25, carry the 2. 7 fives are 35, plus 2 is 37. So that is 375p, in other words, £3.75. Uh, and this is per kilo, and this is also per kilo. So what is better value? It's 3.499 or £3.50 per kilo. So that is going to be uh, deal A. Okay, now I have to confess, I don't know off the top of my head how many millimetres there are in a metre, although well, actually should be fairly obvious because a mil means 1,000, so anyway. But I do know how many millimetres there are in a centimetre and how many centimetres there are in a metre. So 30,000 millimetres is how many centimetres. So there are 10 millimetres in a centimetre, so one centimetre is 10 millimetres. So if we're going centimetres to millimetres, we multiply by 10. But if we're going in the other direction, we are dividing by 10. So chop off a zero, that is um, 3,000 centimetres. Now, one metre is 100 centimetres. So metres to centimetres, we times by 100. 
centimeters to meters we divide by 100 so 3000 divided by 100 just chop off two zeros that is 30 meters okay so um, what shape will the box be well if every face here is a square and they are six of them then that will turn into a cube Okay, so part F is um, all about pie charts. We can kind of just ignore all of this for now. Um, although we can use that pie chart maybe to help us uh, structure the next one uh, perfectly. So first of all, I would, I would add, up, add up how many candles there are in total. Now, if we add them all up, the total is 360 and that is really helpful because there are 360 degrees in a full circle. So what this means is I just need to do um, 80 degrees for vanilla, 120 degrees for lavender, 100 for cherry, and 60 for linen. Okay, now if I'm looking at, um, I'm just gonna draw in, this is a 90 degree angle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so each one of these is 10 degrees, so we don't even need to use a protractor here, so that is very helpful. So let me just delete um, all of this. So. Um, so vanilla is 80 degrees, so I am going to draw a straight line down here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So it's just going to go to that point there. Lavender is 120, so I'm just scroll down a little bit. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, so that's going to be down to there. Uh, the next one was 100. I'll tell you, I'll work backwards from here to just because I'm a bit lazy to do the linen, which is 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There we go. Okay, so um, what we need to do is just come up with um, some sort of key. So I'm going to say vanilla is white, um, lavender I will do like so. Cherry, I will do with um, some some dots, and linen, I will do just in the other direction. I mean, colours are better than this, I suppose. There we go. All right, so there's my pie chart completed, and make one comparison between week one and week two. Um, okay, so here this is the um, lavender, so quite a small slice of the pie chart, whereas um, it is is much bigger um, here so the, you could just say that the proportion of lavender sales has increased from week one to week two um, do we know how many sales there are in in week one um, Okay, so yeah, this is why it's really key that you write the word proportion because um, here it's just 10 to 30 degrees worth. So, um, but we don't know how many sales there were in total. So that could have been a, a huge amount of sales. Maybe this was a, 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 an absolutely gargantuan week. So that this, despite the fact that this is a small slice of the pie, that could result in more sales than um, for week two. We don't know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's key here to say not the number of, but the proportion of. And that is the end of section A.